Hey everyone, this is Video Boy, and welcome to Archpillow Devlog number 33. So I have a lot to show you guys this week, so let's get started. So now in the game I added pop-up text. So these particular ones can be used for simple things like if you pick up an item, or if one of your friends just came online, or things like that. I'm going to design several more of these pop-up things for different things. So for example, I'll have a pop-up showing the map name when you enter a new map or location. Or I'll have a big one at the top of the screen when you arrive to a new island. And there can be other ones also. So I designed the game so it'll be easy to add more and to program them later on. So to show these pop-ups right now, all I've done was tell you when you roll. So as you can see, uh, when I roll it says you have rolled. Uh, but if you add another client, it'll tell you if you're interacted with them and in what way. So now let's step onto the other player. And as you can see, it tells us when we step on them. And if we step off, it tells us when we step off. But there's also another interaction. So now if I press the attack button, which is set to down arrow key, it will hit the other player and it'll show that I hit them. So the step on and off is pretty simple. Basically, I just keep track of what entity is stepping on which other entity. And if they step off, and then it'll just tell you that it steps off. And if they step on, it'll add it to the list and keep track of it. But for hitting in front, it's a little bit more complicated. And I'll show you guys this diagram on how it works. So each weapon in the game is going to have a range. And the range is going to be used as a radius for the circle. So first off, the server checks if the entity is you're trying to hit is actually in front of you and not behind you. Otherwise, it'll just ignore it. Uh, so as you can see, the diagram shows a half circle instead of a full circle. That's because it's cutting off everything that's behind it. So then it checks the entity's hitbox if it's in range of the half circle. If it's not even close, then it discards it. And then finally it checks the edges around the circle if it hit the hitbox. If it is successful, a hit entity event is called and then it can be handled. So in this case, all it does right now is it tells you if you hit the entity. So this makes it really easy to program uh, attacking and combat and things like that for uh, close range weapons like swords. So just say the entity is going to be an enemy, it'll just damage it. If it's an NPC, it'll interact with it and talk to it. Uh, so to program all these features, I had to add fonts, including a font manager to the game and also hitboxes. So all the entities have hitboxes now. So these things are pretty easy to implement, but now it'll make it even easier for me to add other stuff related to them. So things like the chat or um, for the collision boxes, it can be bullet, collision, and things like that. So my goal for this week is to add map elements and tile collision. So this time around, it's going to be a lot harder to implement uh, all the collision stuff. Since the player isn't locked on a tile grid like it was in the uh, last version, now the players have free movement so they can move pixel by pixel rather than uh, like 16 pixels at a time but it shouldn't be too difficult and also unlike the old version the server now has to check the tile data so it can tell if there's collisions with the player uh, just to make sure the players aren't cheating and no clipping through the map but that is mostly implemented already just have to do a few finishing touches also before the video ends I want to mention that I put a schedule file on github showing my week to week plan for Archipelago leading to the release of alpha version 1 I also have a little bit about version uh, 0 0.2. So I'm going to use version numbers for now instead of build numbers. It's just easier to keep track of, especially if you're using something like GitHub. So if I follow that schedule, I should have this update done by the end of May. And it'll be even more feature packed and more stable and also way more optimized than the last version. And also have a lot of fun stuff planned for version 0 0.2. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you're new, please subscribe, it helps a lot. And I'll see you guys next Sunday, and there's going to be a tutorial on Tuesday, so don't miss that.